Hello, welcome to episode 70 of the Epic Film Challenge 2000 Movies You Must See Before You Die. Can you believe this is in the book and not The Great Dictator? Uh, yeah, we, we've, we've all already up. covered, yeah, we kind of gets to verbalise her thoughts on that of, of quite a few. Oh, I'm sorry, I swore you're not going to make money off this video now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck me! Right, so we're talking <laughs> about Animal Farm, oh. one of the very few animated films that is in the book. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I loved it, Animal Farm. What, what year was this You made? know, that might be a provoking image. It might be a provoking image, it's a provoking film. 1954. It's politics, we're going to be discussing Oh, yeah, politics. politics. We'll be able to monetize this video. Yeah. 1954, um... British animated film uh, was funded by the CIA. There was some political kind of uh, uh, reasonings for, for, for this film being put out and stuff. Um, we're not going to get into all that. It is based on the classic George Orwell book, Animal Farm, where we have this um, group of farm animals who uh, rise up and kind of overthrow the, uh, the, the farmer who runs the farm, who's not a very nice guy. They drive him out, and then they start their own society. We have um, two li two figures in the farm called Snowball and Napoleon. These two pigs, and they both kind of, they both want to kind of run things and become the kind of the di dictator of the farm. They rename it Animal Farm. They put the rules up on the barn. You know, uh, sh uh, animals will not kill each other. Uh, what was it? Four legs good, two legs bad. You know, uh, all animals are equal and things like that. Don't kill other animals. Yeah, I said that. Um, oh, so. Uh, I really like that aspect of it where you see kind of this society start from the ground up and when the rules are laid down and you know someone has to literally just step in and step up and be the leader and then how do other people disagree with that? How does someone who has more of a greedy mindset come in and maybe play around with that and kind of work things to his advantage? So ultimately you get Napoleon, this pig, being the kind of the, the dictator, the evil dictator of the place. Who, who kind of runs everyone ragged, he makes them work hard, they they get less food, and all the pigs of his race, they get all of the, the, the food and things like that. So it's very much this allegory to, um, you know, not political situations, but like, you know, just societies in general. And I know that there is something in the original novel that's supposed to be based on something like from like Russia or something, but you can look at it as a very simple fable, I think, and like a, a morality story. Um, Connie didn't like it that much at all. It is a very bleak film. Um, you know, you see animals get killed, um, and there's not a lot of fun in it. There's some funny little moments and gags, but they're, they're few and far between. And by the time you get to the last half of the film, it's, it's really very, uh, just, again, bleak. The only word I can think of is bleak. You know, I can't think of more words in my vocabulary that describe this film from start to finish, you know, as a whole, than a bleak story. Uh, there's there's no real big happy ending, um, you know. Even though you kind of get to see something that you, you're probably wanting to see, it doesn't leave you with the kind of whew, you know <laughs> Disney f Disney feel at the end. Um, the animation feels very much like a Disney kind of film. Um, it feels like a good classic film. I really enjoyed how it moved, how the story went from you know bit to bit, and I just enjoyed all the pieces that went together. It was not hard to watch, but definitely kind of again bleak. <laughs> But I, provoking. Provoking, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the story that it told, and I think it's a great cautionary tale. Uh, if you take out kind of the, the politics behind it and stuff, um, and just look at it as a, this is how, you know, perhaps hundreds of years ago, societies might have started with all the best intentions, but then when someone who's greedy kind of politics his way into power, uh, <laughs> I say that, it, it really does ring true with kind of a lot of things you can point to in history, but... Um, yeah, so you're and still going on and still going on. So your so your thoughts uh, very briefly again. We we talked about it in another video, but you didn't enjoy it very much. So if you could just reiterate, just for the sake of the series, I just don't like provoking movies at all. It's, it's I, I I know you're not supposed to like it, but I know that it's something. I'm sure you were provoked as well, thinking about things, but you liked it anyways because you you saw it as a brilliant movie and yeah, sure. Uh, it was well made in the setting it was supposed to be set in. Yeah, I like the art style and, and stuff. Uh, no, I'm talking about the story and the politics and stuff like okay. that. It's good for people who like that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, drawings were good, animations were good. It wasn't a bad story. I thought it dragged sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Not dragged, like... Yeah, we kind of disagree a lot on yeah, this Yeah, there was stuff that could have been cut out. Like, I found it unnecessary because it kept going for too long. Yeah. Like, I got the point. Next scene, come on. 
Uh, I kept looking at the watch, the, the clock. Oh, that's a shame. It's not a very long film either. I felt like two hours. Wow. Uh, I was so happy when it was over. Mm. Uh, I don't want to see it again. Yep. And yeah, just certain parts of it just like pissed me off. Like, I looked away once even. Yeah. And it's a freaking cartoon. I know, but... You know? Um, I knew that you would like it, I guess. Well, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I liked the uh, the voice acting. Every, every voice is done by the same guy. So I think that really? he, yeah, he did a good job in kind of voicing some of the, the humans and all the animals. Not many of them speak though, and I liked that. There's only a few animals you actually hear speak, and they speak in a very kind of animal kind of kind of way. So it wasn't like just put you know picture perfect, clean human voices behind the the animals. Uh, but then a lot of them didn't have voices, and so kind of I, I liked that. I, it, and spoke were the pigs, weren't they? Um, true, yeah, actually thinking about three it. Three pigs spoke, that's Three it. pigs, that's it. You're right, actually. Yeah. I, f I feel like there was, there was, no, yeah, you're right, I think you are right. It was and the, the, pigs. the narrator, of course. Oh, and there's a, there was which a narrator. Sound, which was a pig, I guess, I don't know. No, the, the narrator was just kind of a faceless. I like the narration, it really guided you through the story well and concisely and things like that. Um, well, probably my favorite part of the film is when this big battle happens. The humans storm the farm, and the animals are fighting and stuff. And the Napoleon, the pig, you know, the the kind of the the big bad, he's kind of looking out the window, not really doing anything. He's kind of being quite cowardly and waiting for the the fight to end. And once the fight ends, and the the humans are, are drove off, and animals have been injured and killed, Napoleon sticks his head out the window and he puts this medal on his chest like a badge of honor, as if he's he's orchestrated all this and takes all the credit. And just those little bits again work in with what the story is supposed to be mirroring with real life and things like that. Um, is there anything else? Because um, I'm sure there was something else I wanted to touch on, but I can't think of it right now. Um, yeah, probably my favorite part of the film was this shot right here, where they, they burn all the belongings of the farmer and they kind of sing their battle song and they're silhouetted uh, with the flames. I thought it was really nicely animated and stuff. So yeah, uh, is it a film you must see before you die? Um, I'm going to say yes, um, but I totally, totally understand where Connie is coming from. Perhaps not with where it dragged, I don't think it dragged, but definitely... No, not the, everything. No, not everything, certain, yeah. There's like, parts of it that but, I just thought, you know. But, okay. I to, but I totally understand you not enjoying it. I totally understand you never wanting to see it again. Uh, it isn't a, a fun watch. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know. It's, I wish we'd started off with it because I feel like... Again, we're we're ending this little well, yeah. marathon thing with something that just makes me laugh. Yeah, we're we're not. What do, do I do now? <laughs> we're not doing that marathon now. This is the epic film challenge. So we we just oh, right. we, we just did a marathon of three animated films, and this was the final one. So it wasn't quite the, <laughs> a good note to end on. Oh well, yeah, it's it's the end of the evening, and yeah. now I feel like. <sighs> yeah, it's a downer. It's a downer of a film. Yeah. Um, but I do think you should see it from an animated, you know, if you're into animation because it's uh, it's the first, I think, British feature like animated film. I just think it's very well done. It's a, a story that has a good moral to it, even if it is hard to watch. And I think it's a classic. And so, yeah, it is a film I see before you die. What about you? Um, based on what you're saying of being the first uh, well, I feature length. That's that. That's just like the cherry on top. I don't think that's necessarily a reason that it has to be. You know, if I you if you want to say no, absolutely I say no. I think it sends a message as well. And, Definitely. And uh, just because I was provoked and I didn't like it and I don't want to see it again, doesn't mean that other people shouldn't. Right. So I I think other people should watch it. Okay. I wouldn't put it on my bucket list, but and of course I would be very happy not having seen it. Right. But uh, like if I could send a message to my past self and go, you don't want to see this movie, just <laughs> do something else, play on your DS. Yeah. Then uh, I would listen. Uh, <laughs> but other people would probably enjoy it more. Some people out there like being provoked for some reason. Yeah. And just like watching those kind of movies. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. <laughs> Is it a film we'll see before you die? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Yeah, sure. Just yeah, sure. Watch it. Pro probably the weakest yes you've given so far, but... Uh, yeah. But, I, I'm, but I'm, it's just because my, my yeah, 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 opinion yeah. is this. It's like, I don't want to, you know... But yeah. Not recommend it to people. 
there but, are people that there are, there are movies out there that I don't like at all. Yeah. But it doesn't make it a bad movie. It, it's it's true. I think it was the the film Alice that I said it is a film I see before we die, even if I didn't love it, because I think there's something mm -hmm. special about it. So, you know, I, I think you do have to kind of take into account, you know, in a wider sense of things, would other people enjoy it? I guess. The color purple, I think, as well. The color purple. You said I, I, that. Yeah. Oh, that movie was so freaking boring. Well, yeah, uh, yeah and, and but I thought it was a good, like it was very well made. Yeah. So sometimes it's just like that. I was. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Actually, I think I remember what I was going to say. You said that uh, you don't, you don't, you don't like provoking films. Yeah. Uh, Schindler's List has got to be in the book, surely. And I yeah, know and that I don't you've seen see it. That yeah, again. yeah. I know that you've seen it, and you've said to me many times you don't want to see it again. So, uh, but I, I want you to see it. Right, yeah. Shindo, so, so there you go. That's the movie you gotta see. Before right, you're exactly. Well. So there we go. So it's yeah. just my opinion, but at least I'm open. Yeah. For other people to watch stuff. Yeah, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, anyway, Animal Farm. You know, it was what it was. I did enjoy it quite a bit, um, but definitely not one for the kids. I don't. I don't no. think. Um, uh, even though it is rated a U. <laughs> you, Which you, is ridiculous. Universal for all. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah. Nothing like really bad about it, but just I don't think it's suitable for all ages, you know. It's so, too violent. Yeah, and I feel like it's quite an adult story, you know, when you when you kids really kids wouldn't understand it either. Yeah, I mean it's it's a very serious adult story. Kids probably wouldn't understand what it's trying to say, and also, you know, the the moments where it's kind of you know kiddie bits like there's this little tiny creature that does these little gags near the beginning, that that would probably entertain kids for about you know two minutes. So um, yeah, anyway. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.